this episode, I'll show you how to use survey mode in Lightroom. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, a lot of times when I'm teaching workshops or giving demos, I'll do something in Lightroom and almost every single time people say, wait, how did you do that? Well, let me show you exactly what I'm doing and then I'll walk through it. So sometimes I'm showing a series of images. So I'll take, uh, for example, this picture here and I'll throw it up on screen and I'll say, well, let's take a look at the other images that go with that and I'll do this. And I'll say, no, I don't really like this one. Let's go back to that one. Well, I think this one is our winner. And so people are saying, hey, how did you just make those zip around on the screen and have that those sort of impromptu animated slideshow. Well, it's not an animated slideshow. What it's called is survey mode, and it's one of the most powerful features in Lightroom, and it's extremely easy to use. So let's dive in and look exactly at how to do that. Well, the first thing you want to do is to be in the library module, and to make this simpler, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick out all of my panels so you can sort of see what's going on here. Now, I guess we don't need these side panels, so I'll get rid of that, and we don't need the top panel. It's the bottom panel here that sort of helps us, the film strip that helps us understand what's going on. Now, when we go to survey mode, to do that, you can get to it in two ways. If you have your toolbar turned on, you can do that by hitting the T shortcut. You can see down here we have these little icons. Now, this icon right here is called the survey view. I can zoom in on that. This one right here, the survey view, so you can click on that or you can just simply hit the keyboard shortcut in. So I'm going to do that right now. Now when I do that, only one image shows up, this photo right here. The reason for that is you can see in the film strip, I only have one photo selected. If I select a different photo, well that photo comes up. To get more than one photo to show up, you need to hit command or control and then click on an additional image you can see that that now pops out. If you command control click on another one, the more images you click, the more images that will show up in your survey mode. And then if you just click on one, it goes back to that, or you can shift click a series. So click on the first image, hold shift and click on the last image, and all of those will show up. So pretty basic uh, selection, but it shows you how those can pop up. Now what I normally do is I usually have the film strip turned off and so what's happening is I'm holding down the shift key and hitting the right arrow and you'll see that as I'm doing that it is uh, adding more to my selection. Now when the film strip is turned off it just sort of looks like magic and then you can left select here shift and you're adding things to the left of that. But when you have the film strip turned off um, and the toolbar turned off, it just sort of looks like magic that things are showing up on the screen, but it's not. It's just me selecting images with the keyboard instead of with the mouse. Now to get rid of images here, you just hit the little X in the lower right hand corner of your images, or you can just on the uh, toolbar here, if you uh, take your film strip, you can just sort of uh, command click and get rid of the images that you don't want just like you normally would. So it's just selecting and deselecting images. And when you're doing that, they are showing up on the screen and then you can sort of see how things look. Now, one of the other things I like to do when I'm using survey mode is to use the lights out mode. That's using the L key. And by hitting that once, it dims the screen, puts a little white border around everything. If I do it a second time, it makes the screen totally black and it gets rid of my cursor. So it makes it look like a slideshow, even though it's not, it's just survey mode. And then I can still go in and deselect images. And then I can see sort of how things look on the screen. And then just remember to hit the L key again so you can see everything or else your screen is gonna look like this when you come back to the grid mode. Now this is a great tool for selecting the winning image in a series of images or quickly displaying your photos to a client so they can sort of see the winner. So once you have your picks, you can go in and say, okay, here are the ones that we thought were the best of the photo shoot. And then really quickly, you can just go in there, hit the in survey mode, hit L twice to make everything dark. And it looks like a nice presentation for your client. And you can also use this to go in and figure out which of the images you shot in a series look best. For example, here's Lex, who I've been traveling with, and I can go in here and say, okay, here are three images that I have taken, uh, made of her, 
And I really don't like this horizontal image, so I'm going to get rid of that by hitting a little X on the box. And now I have two images to choose from. This one here, I don't like that her face is covered up. And so right here, here is our winning image. And of course, I could show that to her, and I think she would like it. Now, the other thing that's really terrific about survey mode is if you have two screens, dual screens, you can show the grid module, the grid on your laptop or computer, and the survey on the external screen so you can really see what you're choosing and really have a nice looking presentation on an external either video projector or monitor or uh, high definition television to show clients or uh, maybe uh, an art director or something like that or even students if you're teaching a workshop and it really makes things snazzy and I prefer that to uh, creating a slideshow because then I can manipulate things and it really works great. Well, there you have it, a quick tip for Lightroom that will really help you out, save you a lot of time and make you look like a more professional photographer when you're presenting to clients and customers. You just use the N key to get to survey mode and it is awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to check out the Adorama Learning Center. We've got tons of tutorials and videos and all kinds of things about Lightroom and Photoshop and photography and making videos and editing and all those things and it's absolutely free. And also don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. It's absolutely free, so click the subscribe button right now. Well, thanks again for joining me and I will see you again next time. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.